Welcome back to the garage. Today we're gonna be reviewing the Trinidad Reserve by Altidus, I guess it is, is who owns them. Um, a very nice wrapper on this cigar. It's that nice like brown paper bag-ish looking. Couple of veins, no big deal. Um, really nice cap work on this bad boy. It's even got like a little bit of a piggy tail on it there. Um, here's the density. It is a five by 54, five by 52 maybe. Um, very nice pack, it's solid. From head to toe, it's solid. So that's a good thing. We are going to use the Calibri Deep V Cut as most times I like to use. <clears throat> and then we will take a look. Beautiful cut on that bad boy. Oh, very nice. It's that nice, musty tobacco flavor to it. Yeah, I like that. Fantastic. Little backstory on this box. Uh, when Macy had her surgery back in June, my wife decided to find a local cigar shop, which is awesome. And that's where we went. And they had these and they were getting rid of them. And the guy was like, do you like Trinidad? I was like, never had anything really from them. And he's like, well, these here are on clearance. They're not made anymore. They've been dropped and we can't sell them. So I got a box of 10, I think it was 10 for like 40 bucks, 50 bucks is what it came to. Fantastic deal, and I'm glad I bought them. The only regret I have is I should have bought the other box. <laughs> it was a different Vitola, but I should have bought it anyway. And um, I opened it up right away and smoked one that day at the shop, and I really liked it. But um, man, oh day, I, I wish I would have bought that other box. I kicked myself in the backside. In any words, we're going to light her and uh, get after it, and we'll be back in the first third. First third of the Trinidad Reserve. Good draw. Uh, it's a little bit tight, but it's still, it's, it's okay, it's manageable. Smoke output is really good, I have to say. Um, the ash fell off one chunk on my foot. But uh, flavor-wise, we have an old leather that's the star of the show. Then we have a woodsy note that's in there. I'm getting like a caramel note and a touch of saltiness, which is weird. But it, it and the salt isn't there on every draw. Okay, folks, the salt will pop up now and then just like a little touch. Like somebody put a pinch of a salt and only a portion of the recipe got it and you only get it like every couple bites. It's really odd, but it is moving along quite well. Medium body at best right now at this point. So uh, we're gonna keep keep after it and uh, we'll be back midway. You got anything to add, Mace? No? Okay. Just trying to eat bugs. Welcome back. Mid pardon me, midway on the Trinidad Reserve. Um, still medium body, good smoke output. The only real difference in flavor, you still have the old leather, you still have the uh, woody notes, um, the nuttiness. The only thing that's really dropped off is the caramel and the saltiness. That's kind of just went away. Um, but other than that, the flavors have stayed the same. Everything's still trucking right along. So um, we will come back at the end and um, we'll go over our final thoughts and we'll go over the numbers. 
and give you the score. So we'll be back. Final third of the Trinidad Reserve Robusto. This cigar has been really good. Um, it turns out that I've actually filled out two pages on my journal of this cigar and uh, they were two points apart. The first one was a 91 and this one scored a 93. Um, I have to say, overall, it is a fantastic smoke. It is medium body. Um, it is just fantastic. From start to finish, folks, it does not get much better than this when it comes to Altidus. I wish they would not have canceled this line. I really do. It just tears me up that I didn't buy that other box when it was sitting there. I kick myself every time I smoke one of these daggone things. So, flavor-wise, as I'm getting scratched on my belly because somebody wants to join us. <laughs> you happy now? Okay. You get at least look at the camera. There you go. Say hi. Look over there. There you go. Say hi. Yeah, there you go. So, um, construction and everything was the same. It hasn't really much changed much. Flavor-wise, you got the old leather. You got the nuttiness. You got the um, black peppers in there. You got a little bit of a cocoa powder in there. And it's just a really nice, well-balanced cigar i still do not understand why you canceled it it breaks my heart if anybody from altidus watches this video consider bringing it back please it is a fantastic smoke other than that folks um i definitely highly suggest it if you have one or you can find one excuse me, snatch them up. They are fantastic, aren't they? Are they good? Yeah? They must be good because she's wanted to sit on my lap almost the whole time. So the aroma must be fantastic because she is a critic in that. If she wants to sit on my lap all the time, it's to smell the cigar. Make no mistake. So, um, Holly Suggester, the Robusto Trinidad Reserve scores a 93 today. So check it out. Thank you for stopping by. If you've had this cigar, leave it in the comments below what you thought of her. Um, if you have some and you want to trade, contact me. I am interested. <laughs> so until we can get together and pack a pipe, or smoke that great cigar. Let all that you do be done in love. Y'all take care and God bless. She's focusing on a bug and it's not getting close enough for her.